Okay, I'm going to show you how to register for courses at SFA using a manual method. You'll want to go to sfasu.edu and click on My SFA. And after you log in, you click on the Registration tab. If there's no registration holds in this area, you can proceed. If you have any holds, just click on those links to clear those. I'm going to be using option four for manual adding and dropping. When I do that, I select the semester. You'll see a lot of text on the next page. I'll let that load while I show you a typical advising form. So over here is an advising form for a student in engineering. So here's uh, an engineering lecture and lab along with pre-calculus A and some core courses. So I'm going to show you how to register for those, in particular the lecture and lab. So you'll scroll down to the bottom of this page right here with lots of text on it and click on class search. Then you'll search for engineering. I'm just gonna type E on the keyboard until I find engineering and hit course search. Now the, the, uh, the lecture is going to be, let me look back over here, 1301 and the lab is gonna be 1001. And I'll have to select those individually. So I'm gonna select the 1301 right here, first of all view sections, and I want to pick the one that's on uh, Monday right there, and I want to make sure that I pick the other one with the same professor on it in a moment. Rather than clicking register when you're adding lectures in lab, what you want to do is click on add to worksheet. Then you go back and you'll see that you have a five-digit number there for that lecture. I'm going to do a class search again, engineering, and I'm going to select the lab 1001, and I want to make sure I get the Wednesday with the same instructor. So I could have picked the Tuesday and Thursday, and here the R stands for Thursday, but I, I chose the Monday and Wednesday instead. Add to worksheet. If I scroll down to the bottom, I have lecture and lab. I could then submit changes, and then if it's accepted, then I'll notice some courses at the bottom of this list after it reloads. Now the next course I'm going to be adding is the pre-calculus, which is 2211. So I scroll down to the bottom and I'm in the lecture and lab, so that looks good. I'm going to go to class search. I'm going to type M to get down to mathematics. And I'm looking for 2211 pre-calculus. I want to find something that hopefully doesn't conflict with the other one. I'm just going to select this one for now uh, without doing much planning. You probably want to plan it and maybe jot it down on paper as you're doing it. I'll show you how to use the schedule planner in a different video. Since there's no lab involved in this one, I'm gonna hit submit changes right away. And then maybe go on to my next course, which will be English 1301. And maybe I'll get the art class. So when you see on the advising form, some pound signs like that or hashtags, you can pick any one on this row, but you certainly don't wanna pick multiples. That means that that only three credit hours is required from that group. I'm going to be looking for art 1301 and English 1301. Going back over to this list, you can see that I was successful at getting calculus in there. I'm going to add the other two courses. Um, and what I might do is, uh, let's say right click on this one and say duplicate. That way, what I can do is see what my schedule is by going to student tab, registration, and I'm going to click on week at a glance. This kind of shows me what the schedule will look like once I get into the fall semester. I'm fast forwarding into there, into that uh, fall semester. You see I have a blank here at uh, 10, 11, and 12 and some afternoon sections as well. So when I do my search this time, I'm gonna keep that in mind as I search for English. 1301. And you know what? I don't think I have any Tuesday, Thursday classes. So maybe I can do that. Now C has, uh, indicates that the course is filled up, so it's currently closed, but I'm gonna grab this, uh, let's say eight o'clock, uh, Monday, Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, Thursday class, or I can do this eight o'clock one right here, so forth. I'm just gonna pick this one. And I can, get, again, uh, go to, um, you know, add to worksheet here. One of the things you want to note is that sometimes you'll get blocked from registration, uh, for example, like this one right here is in the honors program. So you have to be an honors student in order to take that particular section. I'm just gonna say add to worksheet. You'll see the number down here. I'm not officially in the class yet, 
I'm gonna do a class search, go down to art 1301. Let's pick that one for a Tuesday, Thursday, if we can as well. Looks like there's some online sections down here. I could do that if I want to. I don't see any Tuesday, Thursdays. So I'll try instead, maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday at eight. So not an ideal schedule as we'll see in a moment when I add to worksheet, scroll down, submit changes. And it'll tell me how many credit hours I have after it reloads. It'll be in this area. So typically for financial aid purposes, you wanna make sure that you're at least in 12 hours that will apply towards your current degree in order to receive financial aid for those courses. Let's see if I was successful. I got 11 hours. So what I might do is either grab another course from my advice and form, or if I'm a freshman, for example, I might pick SFA 101, which is the SFA S 1101. So I could grab the history and go over 12, or I can get exactly 12 here. Generally speaking, uh, it's recommended to go for 15 hours, but uh, sometimes you can simply take just 12 hours instead. Let me look at um, this one. It says maybe search for section 25 and 27 for STEM majors. I don't know if those sections are gonna be open. So I'm gonna go look for those class search. And those are gonna be under SFA. Let's see, where were those at? There it is right there. And it's the first one. And I was gonna be looking for section 25. Now the section numbers are located in this column under SEC. There's section 25. It is open and it's actually a good time with Dr. Keith Hubbard. So I'm gonna hit um, register and to skip the add to worksheet section, it goes back to the page with a lot of text. And again, this process is how you manually register for classes and it actually says I need special permit to do this one. So the, the account that I'm using is probably um, not a STEM major. So um, that's probably why I wasn't able to get into that course. If I was, then this would be 12 credit hours and I would be good to go. I can go back over to my week at a glance, hit refresh, and then I would see, for example, that SFA 101 right here. So if you get blocked from a course like that, the thing to do is just to get back in there and try again. So I'll try another one just to, see if there's other options that I can consider. You know, what? how about that 27? Is that what it said on the advising form? Yeah, section 27. So let's see if that one's open. That one might be for computer science majors. Looks like it's actually during my engineering time. So let's just go look for a Tuesday, Thursday TR in the afternoon sometime, maybe 2.30 like that. We'll grab this one. Section 16 with Megan Kelly. Register. Like that. And it looks like I'm in 12 hours, so I can get, um, you know, can, I, I would be considered to be a full time student as long as all these courses are part of the current degree program. And finally, if you want to remove classes, uh, what you can do is if you want to say replace this engineering, which is on Monday, Wednesday, Friday with the other, I'm sorry, Monday and Wednesday with one that's say on Tuesday, Thursday, you can say web drop on those like that, hit submit changes, and it's gonna remove those three credit hours. So it's three credit hours for the lecture, zero credit hours for the lab, but they're co-requisites, you have to take them together. So if you get an error in registration that says co-requisite, just realize that you have to pair up a lecture and a lab together, for example. All right, going through there, and I've removed that from the schedule. So that's how you add and drop classes and how you view the week at a glance. Remember, you go to student registration, week at a glance. And fast forward into the semester. As always, reach out to us. If you have any uh, trouble registering for classes, we would be happy to help.